Hey guys, how's it going? So, I've been thinking about doing this video for a while now, and um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do it and let it lie where it may, <laughs> if you will. Um, I'm not the best at this, but I figured I would do this just to show you guys what I do when I want to either change the price of a piece of equipment, change its daily uh, maintenance cost, or um, up the capacity um, and I think that's about it well we'll look we'll take a look there might be something else but I can't think of anything right now I don't want to get too technical or too in detail right now uh, I really want to keep it as simple as possible so basically this is a mod folder right here um, it has all my mods in it for uh, this was the map that PV Rivers was based off of um, I just called it PV Rivers Germany. Uh, in the PDF for PV Rivers, there was a PDF for it uh, in the download files. And th it basically explains things. And in the beginning, it tells you about this map. Anyways, <clears throat> in here, I have this uh, Tektron 415, um, which I believe is the sugar beet harvester. I think so. And um, so anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to just, I'm going to show you the basics for changing some things on this. So what you need to do is you need to set up a folder and you need to call it, this is basically what I did. Okay. I'll just, I won't say you need to, I'll just say this is what I did. All right. Uh, I set up a folder called a work, which is work folder. And then in that work folder is there's another folder called mods and a folder called XML work. All right. So this is where I put my mods at that I want to work on. All right. So let's take one of these mods that that Tektron from over here. So we're going to copy and we're going to paste it over here in this mods folder right here. This is a separate folder, not your original mods folder. OK. Um, this is your work mods folder. So here it is right here. So now basically what you have is you have two copies of the original, right? So this one right here, you never want to touch, All right? This is the original. If you screw this up, it doesn't matter. This one will always be right here. Okay. So then uh, what you want to do is you want to double click on it and you want to find the XML. And actually this one has, no, that's right. It's one or the other. It's either potato or I, I can't remember exactly which one it is, but it's one of the harvesters, potato or uh, sugar beet. So you want to find the XML for it. All right. And it basically tells the unit, tells the name of the unit. Um, and it's right here. All right. Now, this is the XML file right here. All right. You see, it says XML document. If you go down further, there are a few other ones. This is the uh, shader, two shaders, and the mod description file. All right. So if you want to change the price and the daily maintenance on it, this is where you do it. So we'll copy this out of here and we'll paste it over here into the XML folder. Remember before I had a, I had a, uh, a mods folder underneath my work folder I got a mods folder and an XML folder this is the XML folder this is the other window that I just trying not to confuse you too much all right so we've copied the mods uh, description over here and we put it over here right now you're gonna want to download uh, notepad plus plus It'll look like this. It's this little one right up here. Notepad, Notepad++. So if you right click on this, here it is. Edit in Notepad++. All right. So if I go ahead and click on that, what's going to come up is Notepad++ with the mods uh, description XML. All right. And in here, there's a ton of stuff in here. This is all scripting and it, you know it, it tells you all kind of stuff in here okay um 
mainly you want to go down if you wanted to change the price here it is wrote right here it says price and it's four hundred and seventy nine thousand dollars let's say that you decided that that was too much money for this and you want to change it this is where you change it so you just click on it it's highlighting let's make it 478 right once it's 478 you can either click on this or you can just go up here to a space and click right there and there it is 478 okay now once you've made that change or you want to change the daily upkeep here's a daily upkeep one thousand two hundred ninety dollars which is absolutely ridiculous for this thing okay um it's just crazy ridiculous uh this down here you know you can change that too this down here says capacity this is only the description of the capacity when you go to load up a mod you look at your mod in game and it says in that little description down there it says what it, what the capacity is this is what it is so if you change it here if you change not here I'm sorry if you change it in the other XML file that I'm going to show you if you change the capacity over there then you might want to change it here so you remember oh yeah I upped it to like let's say 500,000 okay so I want to put that in here so that it is you know it says exactly what it is and that's it there it is 500,000 so now when it comes up and the picture comes up underneath of it the description is going to say capacity 500,000 all right so there now it's not saved yet as you see this little red box up here this means that it needs to be saved so I go right here which is the same picture and it says save of oh, that little disk thing flat looks like a the old what were those called I don't know floppy did not floppy disk but you know what I'm talking about and you click just click one click on it and there now it's saved all right now you can exit out of um, uh, notepad plus plus uh, and I have to find my there it is oh my goodness I lose my cursor more times than any on that page all right so now here it is here's the new updated one okay 478 for uh 400 or 500,000 the capacity so what you want to do is is right now um i always exit this i delete this one okay you have the original right here all right so if you don't approve of what you've done you have the original all right so what you want to do is the first thing I do is I delete this XML right here boom ask me if I want to delete it say yes so now it doesn't have a mods that uh, description so you copy this one go over here hit paste boom there it is right there there's the new one and you can tell it's a new one if you go all the way over here and you look at the date it'll have today's date on it right 726 there it is right there okay if you ever get confused to see if you actually replaced it or not it will show that for you all right so now you want to fold this zip this folder back up which now it zipped back up okay and then now what you want to do is you want to get this from over here to in here the first thing you want to do is right click on this you want to rename this all right and this is the original and just put a little dash after it okay and when you hit enter it's gonna say this are you sure you want to change it say yes and then it goes to a file now the only thing that you need to do to get it back to a zip is just to hit rename take out the uh, the dash hit enter sure you want to change it yes and it will go back to a zip file all right so for demonstration we'll do that really quick again just so you understand put the dash in there hit enter yes boom now it's a file so now we're going to transfer 
copy this one, the one that we've changed, and hit paste over here in our mod folder pack. Now you have the original and the one that you changed. Now the game, once you load up the game, it will read this one, okay? And then you're done. So you make sure you go in there and you make sure that the capacity was changed, the price was changed, everything looks good. Then you can come back out, you know, come back out here, put these files back up. I always close the mod folder. You might want to leave these two open, these two windows, but whenever I'm going into a map, I always, I don't leave the mod folder. It's just something that I do. I'm not, I'm just telling you what I do. Uh, I don't like having it open while I'm playing the game. So I'll close it, and then when I get done, I'll come back out and I'll reopen it again. It might not matter. I don't know. So anyways, and then you can go ahead and delete the original. All right? If you think that that's okay, it's fine, what have you. Um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and delete this, because I don't want that in there. And I'm going to rename this. Uh, whoops. Whoops. There we go. Got to actually click on it and then left click and then right click on it. Go back in there, rename, exit that, or take that out of there and then hit um, enter. Hit yes. And it will go back to where it was. Okay. So now let's say, and then what I do is after I've done that and I make sure it's okay, I'm not going to use this XML no more. I'm good with this. I delete this out of my XML file. I don't want it sitting in here, you know. Uh, I don't need it in there. Um, and this is my this is my mod folder. Okay, again. And these are some mods that I've been working on and tweaking. And I leave them in there to remind myself these are the ones that I'm that I'm you know I want to do work on or I need to do work on or I'm comparing them or whatever it might be. Um, so now we're going to change the capacity of this. Uh, harvester so we want to go in here again double click on this mod and go to that XML file which it was right up here at the top all right this is the XML it says the name of it and and that's it right there so you right click on it hit copy and then go over here and hit paste now when it's over here in your XML folder your work folder right click on it again open up notepad plus plus and here it is and it shows it you know in script form all right and you're gonna go down to where it says um, you can change the fuel capacity you can change the fuel usage right here and then you have the word capacity right here and it's at 50,000 all right so you just click on it Hit a zero if you want to change it to 50 or 500. You know, move your little cursor up above it and click on it. And then there it is. Boom. It's in there. All right. Overloading capacity is 1500. You know, that's for unloading, how fast you want it to unload. If you want to speed up that unload time, you know, maybe make that 2000 or something or 2100. And then go back and test it. And then, you know, come back in here and, uh, and fix it again. Um, so that's as easy as it is for changing the capacities, um, the prices, um, you know, and those type of things are really easy to change in this game. The main thing is, okay, once this is changed, this is very important, is to hit that save button right here, right? So hit that save button. Now it's saved and you can just exit right out of notepad. And it, here it sits. Here's the new one. So I delete this one. Right? That XML. Now I want to copy this one in there. So I hit copy. Paste it over here. All right. Now go back into the file. Whoops. I double clicked that. Sorry. Now it's all zipped back up again. And then. I want to put it over here now so I want to right click on this rename put the little minus symbol next to it hit the enter yes I want to make this change 
boom. Now I want to copy this over to there. Paste it. And there it is. Now, everything is fine. It's all good. You load up the game. After you've loaded up the game and you've looked at it and you've made sure that it does load 500,000, everything is where it should be and the changes that you've made are correct. You come back in here and you can just hit right click on that and delete the original. I've got this modded on another map so if I ever go back here I will change but I don't have any plans on going back to this map. I've kept this just for just for fun just to see what I used to use and if anything that I've used in here that I might think I need again I just leave it right here but um, it doesn't matter that I've deleted that and put that in there it doesn't really matter so once you've decided that everything is good okay um, and you really don't think you're gonna change anything anymore go ahead and delete this this XML you know until you're happy with it until you're satisfied with what you've done uh, and, and, and you know maybe the capacity was too much or it wasn't enough or maybe you just felt like it wasn't enough uh, it was still too much of a daily payment or whatever it might be um, as far as the XML file goes whether it's the mod description or this actual the actual XML right here um, leave it in here you know uh, close out your, your your mod folder go in check it come back if you want to make some adjustments it's sitting right here you make the adjustments in here then you would open this one back up it's still sitting here and then you delete this one and then insert the new one and just go through the same order again put the little minus symbol next to this one and then load this one over here you can also change this to a different version every time you do it you can save this version if you if you choose and make it v1 v2 v3 v4 it doesn't matter um, I could care less about that I know what I want and I only go with one thing and if, if I have to make a few changes I just leave these things right here until I'm ready and then I make the final decision and delete the original and uh, and take it right out of here so now let's say that I'm happy with this um, I'm completely satisfied with it I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my XML file I'm done with this so I don't need it in this mod work folder so I delete that out of here and the originals right here and we're all done and that's it that is the basics for changing things um, that's the way that I learned it um, for the most part um, now I'm not gonna get extremely technical with you guys I'm a layman at this stuff I'm new when I started playing PC I had no clue how to do any of this so I'm explaining it to you the way that I thought that it should be explained to me all right um, and so or the way that I would understand it so that's pretty much it guys I hope this has helped you um, with doing this uh, if you see something that I've completely done wrong or whatever that's fine uh, but these have always worked for me the main one of the main things is always leaving that copy in here and leaving the original in here with the little minus on it until you've absolutely are for sure that that's the way that you want it okay so if you screw something up you can always go back to that little one with the little dash on it and uh, rename it take the dash out and it's reloaded back in here again and you haven't lost anything okay all right guys well, I hope that you have enjoyed the video and, uh, you know, if there's something else that you would like to know, um, maybe I can help you with, I don't know, leave it down in the comments. If you've liked what I've done so far, you know, leave me a like or a comment. I don't care. Just let me know, you know, something, <laughs> it would be nice. Um, but yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed it and, uh, I will catch you guys later. Have a good day. Peace.